So hello everyone, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to you. This is Michelle from the Age Graceful channel. Welcome to my channel for all you newcomers and my oldies but goodies. I hope that you all are in good spirits and you're healthy and you're ready for the holidays. So this month of course is December and we're back, the Beauty Over 40 Makeup Collab Group is going to be doing a Christmas theme, can I say both of those words together? Christmas themed makeup look for you and everybody is gonna be doing green eyeshadow and we're also gonna go back to the uh, Boss Lady red lip color. It was a matte lip color from the Lip Bar of Detroit, Michigan. And we did that last month, so we wanted to kind of fool around with the red lip again this month. Uh, with that being said, if you watch my video, please go over to the other beautiful ladies' channels and give them some support and love on them this holiday season. I thank you so very much for choosing my channel. Okay, so let's get into this video. To begin, I'm going to be using uh, some lip balm by Milani. This is the uh, Green Goddess lip balm and it has cannabis sativa seed oil in it. It's not going to make you high. It's not going to give you the munchies. I've been using it for almost a year now and this tube is just about out. I had on a lip a lip plumper um, after I washed my face but now I'm going to use some of this lip balm it's very cold in Detroit and my lips stay chapped so put a little of this on and kind of let it sit matte lip colors tend to make my lips peel a little bit more. However, the last time I wore the um, Boss Lady lip color, I did not get any peeling and I was very pleasantly surprised by that. Next, I'm going to be using Pure Heels. This is just some oil and it has synthetic Hella Centrella extract and aloe vera leaf as well as some water and I want to use this because sometimes on my forehead I tend to break out or it becomes itchy so I figured maybe if I do something proactively and put it up under uh, the makeup and the powders and things because I'm not sure which one does it but um i do get like an itchiness and this has like a little dropper so i'm just going to put a little bit on my forehead and um especially which like around here i get itchy and it's mostly here i get itchy And it's actually, I thought it was an oil base, but it's not. It's not an oil base. It feels just like I'm putting water on my skin. And you can kind of smell um, the Centrola extract. Yep, so I'll put this on. And I'll kind of let it absorb into my skin a little bit before I begin. moisturizer of course on top of this but I just wanted to explain this different step and I'm using my left hand a lot today I've been working I popped all my nails on my right hand so 
that's these drops here. I think I got these from BoxyCharm. I'm going to look up the price and I'm going to attach it somewhere in the top um, so that you'll have that information. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give this a try. It kind of reminds me of um, Witch Hazel, as a matter of fact. But I'll let you guys know the next time I do a makeup look how this worked for me. I'm not going to rub it in because it's just like water so I'm just going to let it absorb into my skin and once it's absorbed then I'll do my moisturizer. So I'm going to go do my eyebrows so I don't take up too much time and when I'm done with my eyebrows I'll be back. Okay so I've done my eyebrows and I used my dark brown uh, eyebrow pencil by Maxi. This is one that you can't get at the store, though. I got this from uh, Miriam, the young lady who does my eyebrows, who I haven't seen. It's been a while because, well, you all know why um, I haven't been to do that. So I used that dark brown eyebrow pencil, and then I used... Uh, this concealer by Pretty Vulgar. The shade of this is called the Middle Ground. Um, I use that to clean up my brows because I have some small hairs there and what I usually typically do in between appointments I use like um, a little razor similar to this one here to kind of uh, clean up the area of under my eyebrows. I never go on top because I'm always fearful I'll mess up the shape. So I'll just go under the bottom. That's the best tip I can give anybody who's never ever done your eyebrows before is if you use a razor, even though this is a safety razor, um, you can still cut a big dent in your eyebrows and it kind of flips back like that so you can protect the uh protect yourself from the blades so that's what i'll do to like clean up up under my brows so um after i used the pretty vulgar concealer to clean up my brows now i'm going to use uh also by pretty vulgar this is a um, eyeshadow primer and it doesn't take a lot. I have some on the back of my hand here that I'm gonna use this very small concealer brush to kind of pat that on. Um, and then I might take a larger brush to kind of like bounce it into my skin. But um, I'm gonna fast forward through that part, but I just wanted to let you know what I was going to be doing. Okay. And then I'll also uh, rub in this moisturizer. And the moisturizer I'm using today is called the CEO by Sunday Riley. And I'm almost out of this. I don't have very much left, so I figured I better use this up, you know, before the new year rings in. So that's the moisturizer that I have on my face on top of the pure healing drops that I use to kind of uh, keep my skin from being so sensitive. Okay, so we're going to fast forward now through the eyeshadow primer. Okay. Oh, and before I start doing that, I just have to show you guys this thing. I don't want to blame you with it, but this is a 20 times magnification mirror that I use to like do my lashes, but when you use this magnification you can see every dry spot every hair that is not in the right place so you might scare yourself if you use something that has this high of a magnification but i really like it a lot when i'm doing my lashes and other close detail work you know i wear glasses so that's another tip for people who wear glasses and you need to see something that's very, very detailed, just get yourself a magnification mirror. It doesn't have to be 20 times like this. 
and I just picked it up from Walmart. I think it was like about four bucks, but I'm loving this mirror. It really helps me a lot. Okay, now I'll put the eyeshadow primer on. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna start uh, my eyeshadow. Didn't know which direction to go in, if I should use the Jam Rock by playing in makeup with Yolando, or if I should have used uh, Juvia's Place, uh, the Magic Mini by Juvia's, that has a green in it. Um, but I'm gonna rock with Girl Meets Makeup, and the reason so is because the green shade that's in this palette is a little bit more subdued and I just think that maybe this shade of green and a red lip would go a little bit more, a little bit better together or coordinate better than, um, let me just show you. Does this have a mirror? No, it doesn't have a mirror. This one here is a, like a really, really bright green, okay? So I know you can see the difference in that. And then the green in the Jam Rock palette. Does this have a mirror? Yes, it does. And it has several, several shades of green. Let me take this plastic cover off here. And I guess I could have went with maybe the deeper one in here, but there's several greens in this palette as well. But for coordination purposes and so that I can just go with one palette, I'm going to keep my choice of uh, Girl Meets Makeup and hope that everything works out. I got a hair in my eye from somewhere. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Girl meets makeup, so stay tuned. Okay, to begin, I'm going to select this brown shade where I have the pointer to use as my transition color. It blends in really well, and I'm using it very lightly. The shades and the Girl Meets Makeup palette are very pigmented. So a little goes a long way. Oh my, here we go. The giveaway questions begin. Are you paying attention? Okay, so now I'm dipping into the next shade. And by the way, um, these palettes by Girl Meets Makeup they do not have the names of the shades attached to the color. And I believe they have at least four different palettes that you can choose from. The next shade, I want to say in the palette, it looks kind of like a rust or, um, yeah, kind of like a rust type of a color. 
it's got undertones though on my eye of more like a berry shade. So I did apply that into my crease and on my outer V and then I blended that out well on my left eye. So now I'm going to do my right eye. Each shade that I've used in this palette works very well and gives me what I need. The shades are like buttery soft and they blend so easily. It's almost unbelievable. I believe this is one of the best palettes that I've purchased this year. Next step, guys, I'm taking the green shade out of uh, Girl Meets Makeup, and I'm packing that onto my lid with a flat shadow brush. And I'm doing it similar to a cut crease, but without cutting the crease. You just have to take your time and go like really slow. I started in the inner corner and I worked my way to the outer V. So um, you can watch me do my right eye. So as I said previously, this palette does not have any names to the shades. However, the palette's name is called Bear. They have some other palettes. The names of them are Gloomy, Rosy, Cosmos, exposed rose and gold fall leaves and mystic they also sell gift cards ranging from 25 dollars to 100 dollars although each palette retails for 30 dollars i can't figure that one out all girl meets makeup palettes are vegan friendly the colors are very vibrant and they are super highly pigmented i did not experience any fallout which is another reason that i like this uh, palette i didn't have to clean up anything off my cheeks and that's always a good thing girl meets makeup also sells lip glosses and i think they have maybe about eight shades of lip gloss and all the lip glosses are super super pigmented as well in bold shades they don't have anything neutral and that's what i was looking for i'm going to be using the professional by benefit as my facial primer i'm going to be using my favorite um estelada uh, double wear foundation and the color is uh, Amber Honey. And what else for right now? Oh, um, I'm going to go back into the uh, concealer by Pretty Vulgar, the middle ground, as my highlight. And then I'm going to be using by the Crayon Case their Chalk Dust Setting Powder. And then probably my Cover FX um, Contour Palette. So this is the last time you'll hear me talking for a minute. I'm just going to go straight through with everything. Okay. okay, everyone. Here I'm applying the Professional by Benefit. This is a facial primer. As you guys know, this video is going to contain a uh, giveaway. So... The details for the giveaway are on my community page. The answers are within this video. Now I'm applying my foundation. This foundation is by Estelada. It's the Double Wear Stay Foundation and the shade is Amber Honey. I'm applying it with a silicone blender. And then I'm using a brush here to, <clears throat> excuse me, stipple the foundation into my skin. Now I'm just cleaning up my eyebrows a little bit. Um, as I applied the foundation, I messed up the tail end of it, so I wanted to correct that. 
Now I'm applying my concealer as a highlighter. This concealer is by Pretty Vulgar and the name of this shade is the Middle Ground. I really like this concealer. I discovered it when I got a sample of it in my BoxyCharm. And then the next time I got some, it was the full size. And so I'm going to have to get more because I really like this shade on my skin tone. Now I'm using the Cover FX Highlighter Palette to contour with. And I'm just using a dark brown that they have in the palette. Uh-oh, I hope you caught that Cash App question. Here I'm using a sponge. Uh, it's called Camouflage. And it's by e.l.f. And it's specifically designed for uh, your concealer. I love this sponge. It's super soft and flexible, and it helps you to blend out your concealer very well. And it cleans up nicely as well. Um, once I wash it after my look, it almost looks brand new each and every time. Here I'm adding just a little bit extra concealer right below my waterline so that it's a smooth transition from my waterline down to my cheekbone. This helps to minimize the dark circles. Now I'm applying my setting powder by the Crayon Case. The shade is Y and they call their setting powder chopped us at the crayon case they have some unique and funny names for their products i have dark marks on the bridge of my nose from my eyeglasses so i added an extra amount of the concealer there and tapped that in I'm also using a little bit of the chalk dust to contour. I do not contour um, the sides of my nose. My nose is already long and kind of pointed. So <clears throat> if I try to contour my nose, it just makes it look a little bit longer. So I just leave my nose as it is. Now I'm just blending out the um, contour with the setting powder to finish my look. Now I'm going to use some mascara by Rimmel of London. This is their Scandalized Mascara, and this is the shade Black. I absolutely love this mascara. I think this is my third or fourth time using it for a look, and it goes on really smoothly, no clumping, and it elongates my lashes and makes them look fuller. Now I'm applying a eyeliner to my waterline. This eyeliner is by Wonder 2 and the shade is called Essential Black. Very pretty and goes on quick. It may be small, but it's powerful. Okay, now that I have my eyeshadow on, I'm going to put on some eyeliner. I'm going to be using e.l.f liquid eyeliner in the shade black and my lashes 
um, I'm going to be using this style here by playing in makeup with Yolando. I'm going to try these. I've had them for a while and never worn them yet. And Christmas is a special time, so I thought I'd put on some special lashes. Okay, I'm going to do this. Get the glue on. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them on, on camera or not, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. Decisions, decisions. I was trying to decide if I wanted just a basic line or if I wanted to do a wing. So I opted for a little teeny baby wing um, because the lashes that I'm going to use, they flare out kind of bit. So I wanted my liner to be a little bit more subdued. I really like using the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. I have tried some marker liners, but for some reason, they don't show up on my skin. Do you guys use the marker liners? Let me know in the comment section. Okay, so I'm applying my right lash on camera for you. Uh, the lashes, the name of them, are, or the style I should say, is Retro. And again, the lashes are by Plain in Makeup by Yolando. Very fashionable lashes. Initially, I thought I would use the eyelash applicator. But by the lashes being so long, I decided to use my fingers instead. And sometimes I use a combination of the applicator and my fingers. It's just whatever works that day. And I'm um, laughing because Mr. G is bothering me. So I think it's time for another question. Are you paying attention? All right. Okay, both my lashes are on. I'm just taking my brush that I use for the uh, to brush off the setting powder, and I'm just going over my neck area and making sure everything is in place. Okay, I am all done with my look. I did take this very teeny brush and I picked up a little bit of a gold color and I'm going to put that in the top of the video as well. And I put that in my uh, inner tear duct corner here. Just a little dab. I'm not going to do highlight my brow bone area. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I really feel like for myself and I don't know whether it's an age thing I used to do it all the time but I really feel like uh, my head shape and my forehead that it really protrudes <laughs> so if I highlight it to me it's like it draws attention to it so I just uh, just leave, leave the transition color which was light but it's a uh, um, why do I want to say uh, flat <laughs> like paint um, but I just don't I want to use a matte shade not flat like paint a matte shade um, to highlight instead and that was the very first shade that I started with that transition color and I, I think personally that's enough so the only thing left I'm going to spray, which I always forget when I'm uh, on camera, and then I think about it after. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of the NYX uh, Matte Finish Setting Spray. I better make sure that it comes out first before I attempt. Yeah, it does.
Okay. So, I didn't bring my fan out, of course. So I'll use my hair. Good opportunity to talk about it. So today, um, the unit I have in is by U Crown Hair. It is not a sponsored video. However, I am looking to um, do a sponsored video, U Crown. If you're listening, I did um, purchase this unit for my birthday. This is what I decided to get. Um, as my gift, uh, Mr. G said he would buy me something. I told you guys during my live that I wanted another unit. So this is a deep wave unit. It doesn't really even take a lot. I have like minimal product on this unit and you can, you know, like spritz it with a little um, water by itself or you can have like a little bit of conditioner in the water but I just like the really deep waves instead of like the really tight curls I I don't know maybe I'm lazier or I don't have time but I used to love body waves all the time but once you wash them then you have to recurl them or else it's just gonna be limp so then I used uh, kinky curly units for a while but those are best in the summer when you can have your head wet or damp and then with a looser curl like this deep wave it doesn't take a whole lot so then I'm not getting a stuffy nose um, while trying to look cute but this is just a tea part it came with um, a very very small part coming down the center so I opened up the part myself so that it'll look more natural and I used um, powder finishing powder um, that was my own skin tone on the inside of the cap so that it'll match my scalp and then I, you know kind of hide the lace a little bit by making a little teeny sweet thing but like I said, really minimal uh, care for this unit, and I absolutely love it. So now, here's the good part. We're using this color here, this red by the lip bar. It's called Boss Lady. So I'll be applying this now in front of you guys. Let me get my mirror. I can't wait to see what this is gonna look like because usually if I have like a look that's really um, heavy on the top and what I mean by that a lot of color on my eyelids then I like a nude lip so this is gonna be really different for me but um, the girls really wanted to try this red again so I still have just a little bit of the lip balm on, so hopefully that helps some. And this can get away from you, so let me not talk. not even need to add very much at the top my lips are very small so I'm just kind of pressing this in and I'll put just a little bit more
when I feel like I'm coloring, trying to stay inside the lines. <laughs> This lip color is very, very moisturizing. For it to be a liquid matte lip, it's not real dry like a lot of the others that I've used in the past, but here we have it. So, this is my final look, guys. My green eye and my red boss lady lip. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go to all the other ladies' channels and watch their videos and love on them as well. I appreciate you guys. Happy holidays to you. Take care. Stay sweet and safe. Bye.